You've heard it over and over, unprecedented times. The last year has forced each of us to miss out on so many of the activities we love. For students, most after-school activities have been canceled. Robotics has remained. And why, you may ask? It's because its very nature, robotics calls to innovators. Despite the obstacles presented, those with an innovative mind adapt and evolve. Working together this year, Indiana students, coaches, and event partners swiftly adapted to a new normal in order to ensure that competitions will go on in both a safe and accessible way. Welcome to this unprecedented event, the 2021 Indiana VEX Robotics Remote Skills State Championship. Now more than ever, the world needs innovators, and that is what robotics is all about. Today, you will show the world that you possess the most important and needed skills of the future. Welcome to the Indiana VEX Robotics State Remote Skills Championship, powered by Guggenheim Life and Annuity and Any Women in Tech. Congratulations to all the teams attending. My name is George Geltner, and I'm the president and CEO for TechPoint Foundation for Youth. We are a nonprofit that helps provide hands-on learning opportunities for Indiana students, including planning and executing the VEX Robotics State Championship. As we all know, We've had many bumps in the road on the way to state this year, but here we are. And I wanna thank everyone for their role in making sure that robotics continued this season. A major shout out to all of our coaches who made the sacrifices to keep the teams together, building and competing. Although we wish more than anything that we could compete in person, both for everyone's safety and in order to ensure that this day would be accessible to all teams, we had to do things just a little differently. I'm happy to announce that every team that qualified for state has also registered to participate today. We have 245 teams here today competing for 90 trophies. We are so excited to watch Indiana's best robotics teams compete for the state championship title and a spot at Worlds. To help kick us off the event, we have some important people asked if they'd like to send a few messages along to each of you. So first, let's see what Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett has to say. Welcome to this virtual edition of the VEX Robotics State Championship. As a big fan of this event, I'm happy we can still find a way to convene Indiana's best robotics teams for another year of spirited competition. Congratulations to each of you, not only for making it to today's event, but also for persevering through the obstacles of the past year. This has been a challenging time, but thanks to thousands and thousands of scientists, engineers, and problem solvers of every discipline, we are on the path to recovery. As the top robotics teams for our state, you follow in the footsteps of these innovators. My thanks to all our event sponsors who are making possible this safe opportunity to showcase your skills, especially Guggenheim Life and Annuity, the Indiana Department of Education, Roche, and Eli Lilly and Company. Good luck to everyone, and I'll see you next year. Thank you, Mayor. Now we have Indiana's new Secretary of Education, Dr. Katie Jenner, also send a few words. Hello, I'm Dr. Katie Jenner, Indiana Secretary of Education. I am so pleased to join you today virtually as we kick the 2021 Indiana VEX Robotics State Championship into high gear. Although we cannot be together in person, there is still so much to celebrate. You've come so far. This occasion would not be possible without your coaches educators bringing science to life, 
and every student who stepped up to dream big and build some impressive robots. In today's economy, which is evolving at a rapid pace, it is more important than ever that the K-12 experience adequately prepares Hoosier students for the next step. Some of you may be graduating in a few months, others in a few years, but the skills that you are learning through robotics are preparing you for that moment and what's ahead. The time and effort that you invest today will continue to propel you forward in the future. You are Indiana's future in science, technology, engineering, and math. Congratulations on making it to the state championship. Keep up the great work and best of luck in today's competition. Thank you, Dr. Jenner. Now, I know we're all excited to get started, but I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to some of the folks who are making today's event possible. So first, our title sponsors, as you can see on the banners, over my shoulder, Guggenheim Life and Annuity, Indie Women in Tech, as well as our other key sponsors, Indiana Department of Education, Roche, and Eli Lilly and Company Foundation. Our division managers today are each acting as the event partner for their division. Paul Myers, Dallas Goker, Nick Kirkhoff, and Kyle Love. I also wanna give a shout out to Sheldon Phelps, who is our judge advisor. I want to thank today's lobby greeters, referees, MCs, judges, and all 150 volunteers available today to make this event possible for all teams. These robotics enthusiasts are doing so much of the heavy lifting today, and we are so grateful. They've been working long and hard to ensure today is an exceptional event. So please understand that technical difficulties today could happen. Fingers crossed they don't but please bear with us and remember to treat all of our volunteers with the respect that they deserve. I wanna thank the REC representatives that are helping today. Randy Decker, first and foremost, and then we also have Steve Hassenplug and Drew Jones. And I have to thank my TechPoint Foundation for you team. We have an awesome staff bringing this event together. And I wanna start by recognizing Jamie Inskeep, our director of programs and newest team member who's been managing all team communication and leading up to this event. You probably got an email from her or many. Margaret Geis, who will ensure that our event goes viral on social media today. So in each of the lobbies, look for the social media room in order to get tagged on social media. I also have Bree Satchwell, who is the nuts and bolts of our team, who helped ensure that we have committed sponsors for the event. And finally, Andy Fulton, our Zoom master and our volunteer and event coordinator who has worked tirelessly to help organize this entire event. We also have quite a few board members who are volunteering and joining us today, so I want to thank them all. Thank you, team, for making this possible. Now, to the parents and administrators, we know that this is a challenging year to navigate what's best and safest for our youth. You are all able to do an exceptional job of allowing robotics to continue in a safe manner and for that, we thank you. Now for our coaches, we can never thank you enough for all the sacrifice that you have done this year to ensure that robotics continue. We want to recognize each of you. So this year, our Mentor of the Year Award looks a little different. Typically, we ask for submissions to identify that one robotics leader that went above and beyond and did something exceptional. However, this year, TechPoint Foundation for Youth proudly presents the Mentor of the Year to all Indiana VEX Robotics Team coaches. So thank you from all of us at TechPoint Foundation for Youth for everything you've done and continue to do. Lastly, students, I know that this was a particularly scary year for all of you. We are also proud of how strong you have been. Even through these tough times, you persevered and made it to the state championship. You deserve a round of applause. So don't forget to thank everyone in your life who's made it possible for you to be here today. And for the students, we have a few very important people who wanted to send you a good luck message before the competition starts. Hey there, Indiana VEX Robotics team. This is Aaron from Lego Masters here to tell you a huge congratulations on making it to state. Woohoo! Yeah, you 
did it! Um, I know, you know, you've worked so hard to get here. You've put in so much time, energy, and imagination into your work. You should be so proud of yourselves for making it here. You know, even from starting out really small, builds can get quite big, um, quite complicated. Um, and I know that takes a lot of work, but isn't the end result just so worth it? So anyway, I hope that you feel so good about all the time you put in because you have this amazing accomplishment. I hope you had a lot of fun getting here. Um, I certainly would have had fun being alongside with you. It sounds like a really good time. And uh, you should just be so proud one last time. So congrats, celebrate, and keep on building and creating, okay, everybody? Take care. Indiana Vex Robotics Team, what's going on, guys? It's Miles Turner here from your Indiana Pacers. Congrats on making it to state. I want to wish you all luck today. It's such a huge, big accomplishment. You're making Indiana very proud, and we're so impressed with what you do. Go Pacers and go Robots. Y'all bring it home now. Hey, Indiana Vex Robotics Team. I want to tell you guys congratulations. Um, for myself, Kelsey Mitchell of the Indiana Fever and the entire Indiana Fever organization, um, I think what you guys do are amazing and so unique on so many levels. Um, I'm proud of you guys. I'm happy you guys for exceeding and getting where you guys are. And on, befi on behalf of the person I am, you, just, you are appreciated. Um, I enjoy th doing things like this and making people feel, you know, as confident as they possibly can in life. And I think it's my it's my job to make sure I can be of service with you guys for that. Um, go Fever and go Robots. <sighs> for all the info you need to know about today's event, including agendas, division information, awards, and links to the VEX VIA app, please visit the digital program on the link that you see on our screen. State t-shirts like the one here are still on sale and they can be found on our digital program. All funds collected today will support the State Robotics Initiative. Speaking of, our State Robotics Initiative startup grant is now live. So for any schools in your community that you know of, elementary, middle, or high school that do not have a robotics team, please help spread the word about our grant so that we can see them maybe next year here at State. Lastly, for those of you that like building and still want to do some hands-on learning after the robotic season, please consider participating in our upcoming virtual Tinkerfest event. We're challenging students to create and submit a Rube Goldberg challenge. Winning projects will be on display at the Indiana State Museum starting May 15th. For more information, check out the link on the slide. Now let's all stand for the national anthem. Performing the national anthem, we have the Marine Corps JROTC from Portage High School to present the colors, as well as Heritage Christian Team 60 through 10 to sing.
All right, that is a wrap for our opening ceremonies. Thank you all for joining us. Congratulations for all of you that made it to state. We can't wait to see you at the competitions. Good luck and go robots.